This is Humphrey, so called on account of his registration number, which will be revealed should you wish it. Just email. Humphrey is a 1987 registered Volkswagen T25 auto sleeper. Four berth, five seat belt Volkswagen Cabavan. 1900cc DG engine, which is the nice one with the Pierberg carburetor, and it's automatic, which actually is a boon. I know all you aficionados of stick shift and left pedals love your clutches, but guess what? When you're on holiday, you really don't need it. It's just relaxed. You just stick it in drive and off it goes. It's very nice indeed. 131,000 miles and an absolutely full service history up to, it was last service 124, well the last recorded service is 124,000 miles. But since then it's had a complete fluid change. New plugs etc 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 and new drive belts and so on. Because the lady who owned it was going to go touring all around Scotland around the British Isles and near mainland Europe and she didn't want it to break down so she had everything changed including the automatic transmission fluid which is a beautiful bright red colour as it should be not the pasty white stuff you sometimes get which basically means the transmission's shot but this is lovely just drives perfectly and it really does drive spot on from cold there's a little bit of hesitation because the choke isn't switching on which some people do disconnect them because they last better. The engines last longer without. You're supposed to leave them idling while you roll a cigarette and smoke it, would you believe? Although in the how to keep your Volkswagen going forever, he says it's not a cigarette, it's a joint you smoke. But there you go. I will show you around inside. So. What marvels will we find inside an auto sleeper 1987 vintage Volkswagen cap? Well, as I widen the angle of it, you'll be able to see we have swiveling front seat, lots of horse flies, a two burner cooker with grill. Cupboard space, that is actually a spare bottle, camping gas bottle. Sink, all the bits, you name it, we got it. That's the electric hookup or the fuse box for it. Storage for your bits and bobs. Underneath that seat, which has three seat belts, one lap and diagonal and two lap belts. But underneath there's the hookup, there's the porta potty tent for you, those of you who like privacy and can't cope with a bush. Frankly, what's wrong with a bush? It has a sunroof which opens and shuts, goes up to a wide angle, or you can bring it right down to nothing and anywhere in between. It just locks when you let go of that handle. Um, it also has these covers so that when you want to relax, I don't know how that fits in there. Oh, there we go. It has these screens for when you want to go to sleep at night, I guess. This pulls out to make a full length bed. It slides along these rails. And then more storage in the front. Humphreys equipped with two tables, one for the main one, which you've seen at the, at the main part, and then one in the middle there. 
that little device, which you can see on the dashboard there, is the rear parking sensor, which is jolly useful. Everything works as it should. He fair flies along. And we will actually go for a little drive, but here we are, we've got lights, we've got um, water pump, you can hear it. There we go. Actually, I need to run out of water. And then there's a refrigerator switch there as well. Leisure battery, which you can see is in good shape because you press that and it says, oh, it's green. Joy. Bloody horse flying here trying to get me. You can see the little bastards back there. I'll get a swatting, I think. Anyway, we'll go for a drive. <laughs> 